Hey guys, we got one today from Athens, Georgia that we're going to take a look at. Before we do that, I want to uh, introduce you to a company called National Botanicals. I know you probably can't see this this too well, but uh, they're a veteran-owned, veteran-operated American uh, CBD company. Well, they do hemp products. Uh, they reached out and asked me if I would give some of their products a try. They sent me their full-spectrum CBD oil. Having never used a product like this, I did some research. I read some really good things. I read some kind of neutral things, but you don't know till you try. Uh, I've been using this for about a week and a half now, and one thing I will say, and I know a week and a half isn't a long time, but I've slept like six to eight hours without waking up consecutively. So, I mean, say what you want about what you want, but that's, uh, that's pretty good in my book. So I'm going to continue using it. If you're interested in trying their products, I'll put the uh, link to National Botanicals in the, uh, the uh, video description and a discount code, which is my first name. So on to the show. Let's take a look at this. Uh, officer was dispatched to a disturbance, which we all know in cop world is code for a shit show that we don't know what it is yet. Let's see what happens. After the warning. Central Chief on phone. Go ahead. Go ahead and go to EMS and round as well. Ten four, I think she's flagging me down here. She's got a knife in her hand. That's always good. Ten four. Put the knife down, please, ma'am. Please. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Central, send me a, Central, send me another unit. Put, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Shots fired, Central. Central semi EMS. Thank you. Stay calm. Ma'am, stay with us. Stay with us. All right, let's go back and look at a couple of things here real quick. Once this, uh, and in keeping with the uh, tradition that we have here, we don't armchair quarterback, but we do ask questions, and we want to we want to try and think through things and see what we can learn through uh, watching these videos. So let's let's look at a few things. First, as he arrives. Female approaches him. She's flagging me down here. She's got a knife in her hand. All right, so he's already said, and he's brought put it out on the air, which is exactly what you want to do. She's got a knife in her hand. So she starts approaching him. Now, riddle me this. He steps out of the car, has the door open. Put the knife down, please, ma'am. Female's please. approaching him with the knife. Put the knife down. Right here, you've got the, I'm, I'm pointing to the screen like you can see my finger on the screen. Here's the apex of the door. That puts some mass in between you and her. Now, we all know that uh, a car door, a windshield, a window is not going to stop a bullet anything bigger than a BB. But in an in instance where you've got a suspect with an edged weapon, give yourself maybe this protection and a stable shooting platform because you can use a safe pillar, you can use the side of the door. This is not a good backdrop for a shooting. It's just not because there's houses all the way down the damn street. There's cars going by. I mean, it's just, it's just not the ideal situation. Moving right along. Knife down. So here's the second thing. Central. Now we're walking backwards. We're walking backwards, and I think 
it, it's instinct, it's human nature. You want to put some distance between you and somebody that's armed. And, and I think that's just, it's, it's uh, survival. It's, it's fight or flight. We want to start backing up. Even though we're armed ourselves, we want to create that distance. In a situation like this, is that the smart thing to do because now we're walking backwards with the gun in traffic with an armed suspect. Show me another unit. Now, if you can't hear her, she's saying, I've got a gun and a knife, a gun and a knife. That matters in just a second. A gun and a knife. Put, put, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> what a shitty situation that, that, that she put him in. She rushed him just as this car goes by. So he was close enough that it was, it was lickety split one shot. But look how close this car is. I mean, that's... That's just craziness. Now, here's our knife down here. Shots fired, Central. Now, she's, she was telling him just prior to the to the shot being fired, I've got a gun and a knife, a gun and a knife, a gun and a knife. Central, the first time knife. I watched this, I'm like, why are you not rendering aid, bro? The knife's right there. But then in watching it again, gun and a knife, gun and a knife, she's not incapacitated, she's still conscious and breathing. We've all known, Stay known calm. that, you know, cops have been killed by dead men. So is he playing it safe and not approaching her to render aid right now? Because he doesn't know if she has a gun. She said she did. stay with us. So do we not have to take stay her, her word that she is, in fact, armed with a gun as well as the knife? Um, if you've seen anything I missed, drop it in the comment section about, down below. Boy, I'm having trouble with English today. Drop it in the comment section down below. Um, I'd like to get your thought on this, especially leaving that that uh, cover and uh, the rendering aid. Give me your thoughts on those, those things specifically or anything else. And uh, I'll put the link up for the original video and for my Jarhead friends out there. You know what it is. You guys be good or be good at it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.